Welcome to Gospel Greetings, practical encouragement for living out your faith in the marketplace. This week, we continue the awe of God by Bevere. Last week, we did wisdom's beginning from Proverbs 9. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Hey, and guys in the groups are asking for wisdom every week. Wouldn't you want to know if there were a roadblock to receiving this wisdom? The verse says, holy fear is the originating point of this wisdom, like a storehouse full of all the wisdom from God, and the fear of the Lord is the key to this treasure, Isaiah 33. This week, we continue with finishing well from Proverbs 19.9. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. Isn't it your goal to finish well, to hear from God, well done, good and faithful servant? Of course it is. So as we speak, we have many guys making transitions in their businesses, looking towards finishing well. Some are selling, others bringing in new partners, some handing over to children, others changing work or even retiring to a new phase of life. In the middle of this, we regularly see in the news, in our own faith community, people not finishing well, having moral or ethical failures. It can be so disheartening. This is where the fear of the Lord becomes very practical. We see this fear of the Lord, the reverence and awe we owe to God described as clean. The awe described promotes proper reverence for God and secures a proper regard for his name and worship, and also refers to keeping his laws and commands, which are pure as well. And then it says, is clean, tehora, to be pure, clean and bright as the heavens, like scripture say, like purified gold. This cleanness purges away all defilement and makes a spotless character. Like David said in Psalm 51, create in me a clean heart. The sense here is that there is nothing in it that tends to corrupt the morals or defile the soul. Everything connected with it is of a pure or holy tendency, adapted to cleanse the soul and to make it holy. Then it says, enduring forever. And this is where it gets exciting. The Hebrew means actually standing up to perpetuity. The fear that prevents us from offending God, that causes us to reverence him and is the beginning and safeguard of wisdom, it's then carried all through life. The soul is kept safe in this clean fear. It prevents departing from God and keeps that clean which God has purified. Paul Henderson signed a picture for me years ago. It said, time and truth go hand in hand. And that's so true. Good morals and character are found out. Don't you want your work to stand, to continue? Don't you want your character to stand the test of time so you finish well? We see the fear of the Lord is clean, pure, and undefiled. As we continue in this fear, our work and our character have enduring value in God's sight and in the eyes of men. What a promise. Dear God, make us clean and pure and holy fear. Let us sustain our godly work and finish well so that we can hear, well done, good and faithful servant. In Jesus' name, amen.